Welcome back. I honestly don't remember what's in here. So this should be fun. Um, I'm doing two. One of them I know what it is. See, they felt, it looked like they um, vacuum sealed this, but they felt, I really forgot what the hell this is, this felt real tough, it feels real tough, um, wow, they really vacuum sealed the hell out of this, <laughs> um, is there an easy tear option, no, oh, yes, they really did the most, because, wow, I thought, I really didn't know what to think was in here. But if you can tell, I got me some gloves or whatever. Oh, yeah, these are mad cheap. <laughs> That's what I get for being cheap. These feel hella cheap. These don't feel like they're going to keep my hands warm. But, anyways, it's been cold outside. It's getting cold. Actually, they're not that bad. They got, mm, eh. They're like gloves and mittens. If you know me, you will know that mittens are definitely on brand for me because yes, but these are okay. They're not that thick though, but I mean, I did pick up some cheap ones, but they're cute. And there's like a bunch of different colors. The only thing I don't like is that the thumb is out, but I guess people, you know, go text your fingers. But um, we got this color, this color, and this color. Was it only four? I think it was only four. And navy blue, because blue is my favorite color. But this is probably the one I'm going to be wearing the most, is the black. Um, because just about everything I wear to work is black. And it's predominantly for work. Um, let me open this one. Okay, these things are Oh, my dash was something I'm not bending over to pick it up because I'm not on the pants and I'm gonna be your body jaw, y'all. See, I'm gonna want a YouTube tech dog or something, so yeah, but yeah, red, very, very, very on brand. Um, I'm happy with these, even though I do wish they were a lip. Can I bend without a flashy, y'all? Okay, Woo. um. It's something that dropped them. Um, yeah. So let me see what's. I know what this. I'm pretty sure I know what this one is. And I wanted to wait. If it is what I think it is. I wanted to wait to do an unboxing to open it. And I'm really. Yes! I'm really anxious to open it. Yes! So. Those of you who've been watching my unboxings for a while, you know that I had some color back here. And when I did it, I um, did it the old-fashioned way. I don't know if that's the old-fashioned way, actually. But, to make sure they didn't send me no goodies. Um, when I did it, I bleached my hair and whatever. It was done properly. It was fine. It's just... I hate the way the bleach made my hair feel so um, I do want the color back because I really like the way it looked but I hate the I hate it the way my hair felt so that's why it's been like some time since you've seen the color there's like a smidgen at the ends of like some parts and there's like some in my lock but um, I just I wanted the color back without the the hair damage like it literally felt like straw like hay so I was like you know what um sorry <laughs> why that did sweet and bad but um <laughs> this is why I put my phone on do not disturb when I record these because foolishness be coming in and I'd be like click 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 but yeah so um I want the color back but without like the damage to my hair and like um People tell me how healthy my hair is. My hair really is not that healthy. And the fact that that color is gone is a testament to that because that shit broke off. I don't moisturize my hair half as much as y'all think I do. Or as have half as much as I probably should. Ooh, that shit pretty. But, so, like, that probably contributed to the breaking. Um, mmm, it smells good. Pero mira. Um, 
I'm doing too many things at once. But yeah, I don't take care of my hair the way I probably should, and that's something I'm going to work on. Um, but yeah, I even without that, it's still my hair felt thinner. My strands are thick, and they feel a certain way. I'm used to them feeling that way. I did not want to do that again and have my hair feeling like that. So I was looking on the internet or whatever. And I did ask around. The person that dyed my hair did give me another um, suggestion to like not bleach it and still do it. But my hair is like super, super dark. And I've tried like dyeing it before, like when I was like a kid, like in high school. I tried dyeing it and nothing happened. But of course, because my hair is like dumb dark, so duh. But um, I got another suggestion and I was gonna try that out. But then I saw this pop up. And it's like literally just like um, it's a temporary color, which I'm kind of like mm, about because it's temporary. But I mean, what do you expect? Um, but you just put it on. Yeah, you just put it on. Um, okay, so hair's supposed to be damp before you apply it. Section off hair and apply to damp hair. And that's literally it from root to tip. Use generous amount based on thickness, twist or rake through hair for desired style. Use a hooded dryer or hand diffuser to completely dry your hair. Curl color application to avoid transfer. Um, for air drying, please reserve more time for your hair completely dry to avoid color transfer. Maximum color longevity, consider wearing a bonnet at night to prevent potential transfer to your pillowcase or bedding for great twist styles, coils, wash and goes, and twist rod sets. So yeah, um, we're gonna try this out and see what happens. It's as I am, curl color. Um, I got the, what is this, bold gold, which is the color my hair ended up being after the color started coming out, which I also liked a lot. It was like a blondish kind of color. And then I got, what is this, copper, which is the actual gold, like gold, which is actual gold. I want my hair to be like this, Mm, it just smells so good. Yes, so I want my hair to be this color. Um, I would probably mix both of them. I literally only need the back, and considering the amount of hair I have, I would probably need at least two of these to get the whole head of hair fully doused in color if I were to do the whole head. <sighs> it's a generous amount. I don't even know if two would be enough because it's, it's a lot, but... Um, we gonna see. Um, this probably would be just enough for the whole head, but I'm gonna try one color first and do the back. I'm gonna like section it and just do my under and then see how that works out. And I'll give y'all an update. I'll post a picture or something so y'all would know what the results are. Um, it's probably gonna be on my Instagram story, so make sure you're following me, Pointless Talks, on Instagram. Um, and it's probably gonna be in the next unboxing video. If you see the back of my hair, I'll be like, hey, y'all remember that last video, peep, peep, peep. But, um, but yeah, I'm gonna try it out, see what happens, and let y'all know. And I wonder how long it's gonna last. It says temporary, and I know temporary means temporary, but how long? Is temporary you know you know I guess that um, probably is based on how often you wash and etc but <sighs> I'd be wanting to know anyways thank you so much for watching me ramble about hair dye <laughs> um, make sure you subscribe to the podcast um, on whatever streaming platform you listen to podcasts on make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel for all the new updates unboxings on moldings podcast episodes etc and make sure that you follow us on all the social media outlets we are on instagram twitter facebook and many many more just search pointless talks wherever you want to find me and i'm pretty sure it's gonna come up. google me it'll come up <laughs> um but yeah just like everything else we do at pointless talks whether you got here on purpose or by fate thank you ever so much for watching this pointless unboxing bye